the opponent waits out their time and then sends back out Dragonite, looking to force the final shield, which obliges. Shielding the superpower, we commit to the full bite bite farm down the opponent. So, so weak to Tita Lugia. Usually super bulky, however, Tyrannosaur already going to get him down below half health. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at Godzilla out here going on a rampage in the Open Master League. Some things bark and some things bite. What noise does Godzilla make? I have absolutely no idea, but let me fucking tell you, this thing can bite and bite hard. Not only are we going to be taking a look at Shadow Tyranitar today, today's battle submitter, Rich, huge shout out to Rich, is using a full non-legendary team. The expectation in Master League is to go and spend loads of money and grind, plenty of legendary raids, looking to obtain a good IV. However, all three of these Pokemon have had calm days who had ample chance to get them, so let's see how this triple non-legendary team Fares in the Open Master League. Without any further ado, let's get into the commentary. And in game one, Godzilla picks up a great lead against Ho-Oh, the opponent. Instantly retreats into what else other than BDD, which a lot of people call Best Buddy Dialga. I like to call Basic Bitch Dialga, as absolutely everyone has it. This isn't a bad match of a Metagross. Rich goes for the Master Baiting session after getting baited himself, and the opponent, like an absolute savage, call the bait. This is only another Iron Head. Rich knows he survives. He tanks it on the chin. Metagross now looking to farm up to the back-to-back -back Meteor Mashes. I don't know if we make it. Metagross needs to survive that Dragon Breath. The next Meteor Mash draws to Protect Shield and Metagross, unfortunately, loses the one shield. Rich can send in either Pokemon. However, Dialga pretty close to the next charge with Tyranitar looks for the Bite Bite farm down. The opponent on a sliver of HP make the Iron Head. Rich forced to invest his final Protect Shield. The opponent now send out Yveltal. We're staying in. Do we see the attempted catch of the Focus Blast? We do not. Tyranitar about to get vanquished. Back to our Pokeball. And I think that is just going to be game over. And we concede the match. Rich not off to the best start. But Redemption looks on the cards. We pick up a great lead. Giratina and all its six legs. I don't even know if they're legs. But whatever they are are staying in. And the bite damage is tearing them apart. The opponent say switch into Zacian. We pivot into Metagross. And the opponent probably thinks the algorithm is bullshit. And concede the match. In the next battle Tyranitar. Punishing the opponent for the absolute sacrilege of purifying a Mewtwo. They instantly retreat into Dragonite and we answer with Metagross. Metagross fires off the Meteor Mash, forcing a Protect Shield Dragonite farming up. Looking to bait the superpower or throw the superpower. Let's find out. We commit a shield. The opponent full sends the superpower. Rich committed a great shield and going to return fire a Meteor Mash. Number two, the opponent choosing to double shield, desperate to flip switch. Are we going to see Rich? Shield and farm down. No, he's going to tank the move on the chin. Metagross survives the opponent, then send back out Mewtwo. Mewtwo going to be met with a Meteor Mash. Meteor Mash lands for huge neutral damage. We pivot out into Tita. We get the Bite Bite farm down. That purified Mewtwo was straight in and straight out. The opponent waits out their timer. Send back out Dragonite, looking to force the final shield. Rich going to oblige. Shielding up the Super Tyranitar again. Bite Bite farms down. The opponent's final Pokemon is Lugia. Lugia has the biggest stat product you could possibly get in Master League. However, Tyranitar doesn't give a flying fuck. We've got him already down deep into the red. The opponent looking to go for the Aero Blast. Tyranitar says no, makes one final brutal swing. And that is going to be all she wrote. GG's and thanks for playing. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. We're ABA weak to charm. Tyranitar on Legacy Smackdown, not too bad into Togekiss. However, look at the bites. They're doing absolutely nothing. Rich recognizes, and he's not even going to make the Stone Edge. Throws the Brutal Swing. The opponent doesn't know the bite counts and commit a shield. We now send out Metagross. Metagross going to respect the Flamethrower or Aura Spear. The opponent fires off the Flamethrower. If the opponent doesn't pivot, they're going to give Metagross a huge energy lead. Oh my days, trainer. Pivot! The opponent lets Metagross get to almost 100 energy and send out Giratina. Giratina, usually a pretty good Metagross counter, however, not this far behind an energy. Rich, recognising they must be so weak to Metagross in the back, continues to overfarm. We shield up the ominous wind. Rich farms up to the back-to-back -back Meteor Mashes. Does the opponent invest that final protect shield? Yes, they do. We then see the Simul swap. Dragonite into Dialga, usually not the best matchup. However, the opponent has no protect shields, and we've got that superpower coverage. Superpower rocks this tin can deep into the red. The opponent forced to throw energy, and that is going to seal their fate. Iron Head knocks out Dragonite. We come in, bullet punch farm down, back out. Comes Giratina. We've got the Meteor Mash locked and loaded and we're going to take a very nice dub very well played rich moving on to the next one shadow tita out here picking up all the leads 
the opponent staying in and look at the bike damage rich is tapping his phone at a rate of knots and mewtwo's health is depleting just as fast we unfortunately shield up a shadow ball which would be resisted the opponent then send out mel metal and we pivot out after banking a boatload of energy into metagross metagross pretty comfortable in this matchup as the opponent has to throw superpowers to do any meaningful damage and you can see with non-stab that really doesn't do too much damage superpower also lowers the opponent's attack and defense so every time they throw one they're just going to do less and less damage rich fires off the meteor mash bait and again the opponent absolutely petrified of godzilla looking to flip switch the opponent fires off superpower number three rich not investing in a shield the opponent has to throw four superpowers and melmetal is so so debuffed rich opting to send out dragonite the opponent send back out mewtwo mewtwo gets farmed down by t-tar the opponent has reset their debuff however t-tar is absolutely loaded we fire off the brutal swing brutal swing forces the final protection the opponent gets super greedy and tyranitar says high mail metal by mail metal get absolutely wrecked the opponent's final pokemon is giratina aba weak to t-tar and that is going to be one very sad day at the office for that opponent and we managed to go a very nice four and one Moving on to set number two. The mighty Godzilla into the basic bitch tin can. The opponent is staying in and Dragon Breath and Bite pretty much keeping pace with each other. We are going to be forced to shield up the Iron Head as Iron Head does hit us for super effective due to our sub rock typing. Rich looking to go for the full Bite Bite farm down, recognising he's not going to make it. So he is going to fire off the Brutal Swing. Brutal Swing forces a protection. We then make a Savage Catch, catching Iron Head number two onto Metagross. Very nicely done. Unfortunately for Rich, what isn't so nice is that Giratina answering our Metagross safe switch. However, the opponent goes straight for an Ominous Wind. And unfortunately, Ominous Wind Trainer just isn't going to get the job done. Metagross withstands the damage, returns fire with the Meteor Mash Giratina now. Down into the yellow, the opponent does get the full Shadow Claw farm down. T-Tar is super low. However, the opponent not going to have the Shadow Claw farm us down. They're going to be forced to throw. Rich sends out T-Tar. Looking to force the energy and he's going to put all his hopes and dreams on the back of Dragonite sweeping the end game. Dragonite gets the Dragon Breath farm down. The opponent sends out Mewtwo. We've got to be mindful the opponent might try and make a catch. Rich shows great discipline. Ensuring the opponent doesn't catch we fire off the first Dragon Claw. The opponent lets it go. This might give us a wink on. Can we Dragon Breath farm down everything? The opponent fires off Ice Beam. Can we Dragon Breath down before the next Ice Beam? No. Mewtwo on a sliver of HP. Make Ice Beam number two. And unfortunately, we take a loss. I'm moving on to the next one. Let's go, T-Tar. T-Tar picks up a great lead, but yikes. Excadrill, something that probably beats all three of our Pokemon. Let's see how Rich plays you out of this one. T-Tar putting out so much fast move pressure. Then stay in school, kids. Learn to count. That's how you deal with it. Rich catches the double resisted drill run onto his Dragonite. What a play again. The little mole is going to make a rock slide before going down, but Dragonite really doesn't care. Rock slide does hit for super effective, but isn't enough to force our final protection. Rich then commits to the full Dragon Breath farm down. The opponent's final Pokemon is Zacian, and we've got the exact alignment that we want. Unfortunately, Dragonite can only hit four resisted, but back to back superpowers should put this thing down below half health. The unfortunate thing here is Zacian is going to get a huge snarl farm down. Rich is down a shield. However, we have the exact alignment that we want. We send out Metagross. Close combat or wild charge are going to hurt. But what the hell do I know? The opponent YOLOs. The more expensive a wrong move that is resisted. And then pivot out into Giratina. I am so confused. What the hell is going on? Wing con for the opponent is probably having Dragon Pulse. The opponent throws the Shadow Ball. Tyranitar shrugs off the damage. Tyranitar makes another brutal swing. Is the opponent going to invest their final protection? Yes, they are. The opponent getting torn apart by the bites. Rich opting to invest his final protect shield here. The opponent fires off the ominous win. They get the boost, but Tyranitar doesn't care. They still get farmed down. Back out comes Zacian. Do they have back-to-back -back close combats? I guess we'll never know. Was that Pokemon single moved? I'm so confused. Why the heck did they concede? Some things in life we're never going to know. Moving on to the next one. Rich is the algorithm confirmed. His Tyranitar is winning so many leads. The opponent say switch into Zekrom. They full send a fusion flare and that lands for huge neutral damage. Rich then enjoys himself going for a little masturbating session in the mid game, forcing a protect shield off this Zekrom. Unfortunately, we're not going to make an earthquake. The opponent recognizes only a meteor mash. We did get shield advantage in the mid game. However, we have lost alignment. 
We now send back out Titar. Titar looking to go for the one shield and bite farm down. The opponent again send the fusion flare. Tyranitar does get the bite farm down. Bite absolutely dreadful at generating energy. So any lead we can get is going to be very helpful. The opponent's final Pokemon is a shiny tin can. We land the brutal swing rich, then attempt to catch the iron head onto Dragonite. No such luck. The opponent then pivot back out into their own Mewtwo. We fire off the Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw goes unshielded. Mewtwo now below half health. The opponent looking to farm up to the back to back charge. We see the instant no shield deployed. The opponent throws the side strike. Side strike doesn't get the job done. The opponent forced to dump the remainder of their energy. Can Tita bite down the remainder of the team? Let's go, Tita. Tita bites down Mewtwo. Back out comes Dialga, and Tita shows who's the best fast move pressure one in the league, and we take that game. Oh my God! Zilla picks up another lead. The opponent is staying in. Are they on Legacy Earthquake? Is this a really old school ho ho? -oh? Moment of truth time. Rich calls her not on Earthquake, but ouch. Sacred Fire does a huge amount of damage. The opponent then pivot out into the Tin Can, of course, because what else do people save switch in the Master League? The opponent at the Draco. We call the bait, and the opponent is not baiting. The resisted Draco near knocks us out. Rich opting to go for the bait himself. The opponent calls the bait, however, Metagross at the back-to-back -back moves. The opponent could shield this up, then commit to the farm down. The opponent just let it go. Ho-Oh should take us out in a single incinerate, or perhaps the opponent farm us down with our third. The opponent takes the incinerate. We send back out Titar. Titar going for another bait. The opponent might shield, fearful of the Stone Edge. The opponent invests that first protect shield. Are we going to see Rich invest the shield here? No, we're not. The opponent fires off the Brave Bird. We send out Dragonite. The opponent's final Pokemon is Lugia, and we concede the match. Moving on to the next one. Tita into the fat Giratina. We usually see in the Ultra League the opponent retreat again into the Tin Can. I think this is why most people don't play Master League because, my God, do we see the same nonsense over and over. This time the opponent actually hits us with a Thunder. I wasn't expecting that. Rich again farms up, goes for the Master Bait with the Meteor Mash. This time the opponent does invest that shield. We don't commit to the Earthquake. Rich fires off yet another Meteor Mash. The opponent double shield, desperate to flip switch. Rich has two great answers for Giratina, so I suppose shield advantage could be pretty advantageous as long as there's no fairy lurking in the back. Rich shields up the Iron Head, can Tita get the full bite farm down? Rich just looks to get rid of this thing as soon as possible, throwing the Brutal Swing. Brutal Swing secures the knockout, please no fairy, please no fairy. The opponent doesn't have a fairy, but Exodrill isn't really what we want to see either. Rich attempts to catch a double resisted drill run onto Dragonite, no such luck. Rich not interested in the shield on the rock side and rock side lands. The heavy super effective damage the opponent then pivot out into Giratina. Dragonite going to unleash the first Dragon Claw. Rich not going to be able to outpace the Dragon Claw number two. We actually get there on the CMP tie. Rich now going for a very cheeky undercharge, leaving Giratina on a sliver of HP. We see the instant no shield deployed. I see Rich cooking with a coming to T-Tar, commit to the bite farm down. Rich not going to shield this up. Dragon Claw is going to get us low. Tyranitar just about survives. We're, I think, one or two bites away from the Brutal Swing. We will stand the mud shot, reach the Brutal Swing, and Rich pulls off a beautifully executed endgame, and we take a very nice dub. Huge shout out to Rich for today's battle submission, showing the power of Godzilla, aka Shadow Tita, in the Open Master League. There's so many things weak to dark. Dark types aren't really that common. A lot of people are actually running two things weak to dark. So if you've got the resources to power up Shadow Tita and you want to go on a nice tap tap beat down, give it a try for yourself. We also shown today that you don't need to run legendaries to compete with the big Donnies in the Open Master League. If you're enjoying the content, smash that like button. If you're new, consider subscribing. If you like your battles featured on my channel, a link to a battle submission form is down below. If you're wondering how my season's going, I've actually not played a single battle now for eight days. I've been so, so burnt out, even last weekend. We had to compete, I think, in like five battles, ten battles to get a free Elite TM. I didn't bother. I needed some time off. However, my Legend push will commence tomorrow. If you want to see it live, join the Discord. There is linked below and you can see me battle live on Discord. I'm going to have the watchful eyes of Master Wong, aka Noob Giratina, help me throw off any rust I've picked up for not playing for well over a week. So I'd just like to say thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next